Hey folks, have you heard about the We Vape We Vote 2022 tour? Yeah, me neither. So ain't nothing to it, but to get into it. The We Vape We Vote Tour 2022 is sponsored by the Americans for Tax Reform, AVM, CASA, IVA, and JV. The tour started October 8th in Prescott Valley, Arizona, and is making its way east across the country. Hey, there's a stop in Pittsburgh on October 19th. Where do I register for this event? Well, if you go to wevapewevote.org, it's a piece of cake to register for an event near you. Just click on the date and location that you wish to attend. And it'll take you to an Eventbrite registration webpage for your date and location. Registration tickets are free, and Eventbrite even has an app to save your ticket if you choose not to print one out in the email confirmation that's sent to you. Actually, this is in Millvale, right off of 28, and I've never even heard of Coral Head Vapors. Awesome sauce! I get to visit a new vape shop and attend a vape rally. But this opportunity is much, much more than just a vape shop visit. The We Vape We Vote bus tour shows politicians and communities across the country that every American should have the right to use vaping to quit cigarettes. It's our fundamental human right to make critical health decisions. It's past time for us to demand that the FDA, the CDC, and overzealous government bureaucrats stop trying to implement taxes and prohibition on the products that we use to not smoke. It's time for our voices to be heard. So take a look at this map and ask yourself, is there an event near you? Saturday, October 15th. The bus will be at Iconic Vapors in Eau Claire, Wisconsin from 3 to 5 p.m. Monday, October 17th, the bus arrives at Marco's Vapor, Cherry Valley in Rockford, Illinois. Once again, the rally is going to be from 3 to 5 p.m. Tuesday, October 18th, it's just outside of Youngstown, Ohio in Girard at Vapors Dream for a later than usual 5 to 7 p.m. rally. And then Wednesday, October 19th from 3 to 5 p.m., it's the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania rally at Coilhead Vapors in Millvale. Thursday, the bus is just outside Allentown, Pennsylvania at the Vaping Oasis in Bethlehem, PA. This time, it's a lunch rally from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. Friday, the bus moves even farther north to Infamous Vape Shop in Scranton, PA, for a 3 to 5 p.m. rally. Saturday, the tour moves south into Maryland, and just southeast of Frederick, a third of the way to Baltimore, you'll find the Vapor Emporium in Newmarket, Maryland, for another 3 to 5 p.m. rally. Monday, October 24th, is the Charleston, South Carolina rally in West Ashley at E-Sig Charleston, West Ashley, for another 3 to 5 p.m. event. Tuesday, from 3 to 5 p.m. as well, is the Savannah, Georgia rally at the Vape Loft Savannah de Rene. And finally, on Wednesday, October 26th, the bus finishes the We Vape We Vote 2022 tour in Jacksonville, Florida. Yes, folks, the last event will be at Johnny Cooper Hemp and Vape in Green Cove Springs, Florida, from 3 to 5 p.m. Is there one of these rallies near you? Check out the WeVapeWeVote.org website and find out so you can register and attend a rally near you. And while you're on the web, go follow WeVapeWeVote 2022 tour at SayVape on Twitter, or you can text vaping to 50446 and get text updates about this campaign.
Exclusive new data reveals the political strength of vapors. There are 20 million adult vapors in the United States, and that amounts to at least 45,000 in each congressional district, easily enough to make a difference in the coming election. So find a rally near you and show your support for the single best way to quit smoking. And that's not just my opinion. Hi, my name is Amanda Hegerman, and I am the healthcare policy analyst at Goldwater Institute in Phoenix, Arizona. And it's an honor to be here today for the vape tour. Um, I'm super passionate about this issue because I truly believe that bureaucrats in Washington should not decide, one, what risky behaviors Americans can engage in, and two, should not decide when Americans uh, are ready to face their addictions. Already the FDA has blocked a lot, many of the alternatives that doctors and smokers has deemed as excellent choices to quit smoking. Um, the FDA is going to continue these extreme measures, and they already have announced that starting sometime in the next year, they are going to remove almost all the nicotine in the nation's cigarettes. Um, and that's going to put million, it's going to make millions of Americans face their addiction. Um, and imagine that catapulting millions of Americans into the painful symptoms of withdrawal and without any access to the very alternatives that have been proven to help them quit smoking. Um, I myself, I'm a public health professional. Um, originally, I worked as an epidemiologist for several years. And uh, truthfully, I'm horrified um, by many of the policies that have been coming out by the FDA. Um, these are going to be some of the most sweeping prohibitions the country has seen in um, the last hundred years. So for me, and to make this short and sweet, vaping, um, it's been proven that it's 95% less harmful than conventional cigarettes. And among former smokers who currently vape, uh, many of them use vaping to quit smoking. And most importantly, as we all know, um, vaping truly uh, helps people uh, quit smoking. And I, I think the last point, too, is uh, America has truthfully should not be um, managing and addressing the complexities of addiction. If anything, they have a track record of breeding it. So thank you, and I'm happy that I'm here. Hi, Reverend Orquist here. I'm president of Americans for Tax Reform, and we're here for the first day of the We Vape, We Vote tour that's going to go west to east. Uh, and we want to be stopping in many towns and uh, visit with people to remind politicians that when people choose to vape to improve their health, it's their business, it's not the politician's business, and that the politicians may think it's a good idea to tax vapors, to force them back onto tobacco so they can pay more tobacco taxes. It's really a ridiculous position. It's not sustainable. And the good news is that the 13 plus million vapors in the United States, if you ask them, is this an issue you vote on? Their answer is yes. 80% plus say that if they knew that one candidate wanted to take away vaping or ban various flavors or to tax vaping and the other didn't, they'd be for the candidate that wants to leave them alone to make their own decision. So it's the right health policy, it's the right freedom policy, and it's the right political policy for politicians trying to get their butts reelected. So this is the We Vape, We Vote tour starting today. We're here in Arizona. Heading east. Tim Andrews here, Director of Consumer Issues at Americans for Tax Reform. We all know the science about vaping. That vaping is 95% so safer than smoking. That vaping has the potential to save 6.6 .6 million lives across the United States. That vaping is between two and six times more effective than any other form of nicotine replacement therapy. Unfortunately, because of a lot of misinformation out there, politicians are trying to take away the right of people to quit smoking through these life-saving technologies. This is an outrage. The fact that politicians are out there in Washington and in state capitals trying to take away devices that literally can save millions of lives is an absolute disgrace. This is a moral issue that we are all out here fighting for. This is why Americans for Tax Reform is so proud to join other great groups like CASA, like the American Vape Manufacturers Association and other groups to try and bring this message out to the people through this bus tour. We're here in Arizona on the first day of the national We Vape, We Vote bus tour because we know that politicians starting to support vaping is not only the right thing to do, it's also the smart thing to do. 
We know from polling that 83% of vapors are single issue voters. This is simply a matter of fact. And if politicians will start doing the right thing, starting to support vapors, then this is in their direct electoral interests. We saw Senator Johnson previously say he got elected to the Senate just on the basis of the vaping vote. We hope a lot more politicians will hear this message, will get elected by standing up to their constituents and not beholden to special interest groups that want to ban these products and line state government coffers with more tobacco taxes. My name is Caitlin. I smoked for nine years and without vaping, I would still be smoking cigarettes every single day. Um, I was up to a pack and a half a day and I was at a really, really young age doing it. And the only thing that got me off of it was a caramel vape. And I think what the government is trying to do is absolutely disgusting. And I think they have no right to try and control the decisions we are trying to make to better our health. I'm a vapor and I vape and I vote. Hi, my name is Jordan Wheeler. Me and my wife, Amanda Wheeler, own J Vapes LLC. We operate in Prescott, Arizona, Prescott Valley, Arizona, Gilbert, Arizona, Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. We started our business in 2011 with the mission to help people quit smoking. I started vaping in 2009 and was able to quit smoking immediately. And then in 2011, we started our business. Vaping has absolutely saved my life from, you know, the death and disease that's caused by smoking. Um, I've lost my stepdad and my mother this year to lung cancer. And I wish these products would have been available to them sooner than they were. It's really disappointing what they're doing in America right now by trying to prohibit vaping products from smokers. Um, vaping has been proven to be 95% safer than smoking. It makes no sense to me on why they are trying to prohibit these products from adults. Hi, my name is Brian Foydick. I live in Denver, Colorado. And since 1996, I've been trying to educate policymakers and lawmakers about the difference between combustible and non-combustible tobacco. I smoked over a pack a day for 28 years. And this January, I will be 10 years smoke-free thanks to flavored vape. My name is Dave Morris. I'm the president of the Arizona Smoke-Free Business Alliance. Uh, here to help out with the kickoff of the uh, We Vape We 2022 tour. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm glad you're watching this, uh, vaping has impacted 20 million people positively in this country. That's just direct people that have used it to uh, help them quit smoking when not, nothing else would work. Uh, that's not including, you know, the, the children whose parents are still alive that wouldn't have otherwise been, uh, you know, brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, all sorts of relations, friends, um, that were, were not able to quit smoking through, uh, you know, things like, like the patches, the gum and, you know, the, the FDA approved things. It always kind of blew my mind that vaping became demonized by people in the government, especially in public health, because we did something that we, they were not able to do. We, we made an appealing product that actually works for smokers, uh, that re, you know gives them the nicotine that they want without uh, giving them the harm that comes along with cigarettes. Over half of uh, cigarette users uh, die long-term from cigarette-related causes. Uh, the, the, that just hasn't been the case with vaping. Um, any politicians that end up seeing this, like I said, there's 20 million of us out there. They need your representation, they're your constituents, and they need your help. My name is Jared Montez. I've been in the industry now for about 12 years. I decided to quit smoking and started vaping because my uncle had passed away many years ago from smoking and vaping, you know, is a healthier alternative. I was also born with asthma and, you know, before when I was a smoker, I couldn't make it up a flight of stairs without being winded. After about, you know, three months or so of vaping, I've been able to make it upstairs perfectly fine. Ever since then, the whole goal, you know, with everything is to get people off of traditional cigarettes and into vaping, you know, one to prolong their life expectancy, have more time with their loved ones and have a healthier alternative. Please everybody vote to support vaping. Hi, my name is Carl Honiger with the Colorado Union of Taxpayers, and I oppose all restrictions on adults vaping and additional taxes on vaping because I live in a neighborhood where a ton of adults still smoke cigarettes, and really they're scared about the healthier alternative of vaping. And I want Colorado to be a healthier place to live. I want better alternatives 
for people here in Colorado. Instead of the fear mongering, I want facts and science. And so that's why I support vaping and the access for that, for adults who wanna make that choice and oppose any politicians like Udira who have opposed that. My name is Kevin Kirkpatrick and I have been vaping for a little over 12 years. I smoked for 18 years and was unable to quit and through vaping I was able to quit and stay off cigarettes. I own Sick Boy Industries. Me and, uh, I'm, and my business partner Dave King own Sick Boy Industries. Uh, uh, we're a liquid manufacturer based here in Colorado. Um, if the flavor ban would have gone through, it would have completely decimated my, uh, my small business. Um, we do not make any tobacco flavored e-liquid. Um, for me personally, uh, when I quit smoking, I don't like the taste of tobacco particularly. So if I have a, a healthier, safer alternative, why would I? So everything that we manufacture are all different types of flavored products which is what got me off of cigarettes. People ask me, why am I spending three weeks of my life traveling the country on this vape tour? But the answer is really, really simple. And it it's we have the greatest medical innovation since the invention of penicillin, something that will save hundreds of millions of lives worldwide. And you have people trying to ban it and take it away from you. We have had more smoking-related deaths last year than had people die from COVID. Vaping is a technology that will save more lives at zero cost to the taxpayer. Look at how much the country shut down for the deaths of COVID, which was a tragedy. Look at how much it cost the country. More smokers die every year. And what's the result of so many politicians? They want to shut down the technology that will save all those lives. We know the evidence that vaping is 95% safer than smoking. This isn't in doubt. We know the evidence that is between two and six times more effective than any other quit smoking method. Not in doubt. We know that modelling by Georgetown University showed it will save up to 6.6 .6 million American lives over the next 10 years. These aren't me making up numbers. That's Georgetown University. We know from Yale University that flavour bans have one effect and one effect only. They increase smoking rates, particularly amongst teens. And yet you have people like your congressman wanting to ban all of these products and to drive everyone back to smoking. This is a moral outrage. This is an absolute disgrace that they are sending people to their deaths. This is why I'm here and why I'm passionate. It's not just about partisan politics. This isn't a left or right issue. This is a right and wrong issue. And this is why the We Vape, We Vote campaign is so important. Because unfortunately, you can't get politicians to do the right thing just because it's the right thing to do. It'll be lovely in an ideal world if politicians would look at the science and would look at the evidence. Unfortunately, we know that they don't. So we need to show them that the vaping vote won't just save lives, but it'll save their election campaign because it's not only the right thing to do, it's the politically smart thing to do. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the whole reason for this We Vape, We Vote bus tour 2022 marching across the country. It's to empower you to go and stand up to these politicians and let them know that we won't stand for them banning and taxing the single best way to quit smoking. So please like and share this video so as many people as possible can find out about it. And my wish is always peace, love, and a hunky vape to end cigarette combustion. Have a great day.